Officially, he's welcoming his new government. Some welcome, no warmth, tough words. President Assad looking as isolated, aloof and rigid as he's ever looked. He gave them a blunt warning in words he's never used before. We live in a real state of war, he said. And when we're in a war, all policies need to be directed at winning it. He's talking of war within. His neighbors are making their own military moves. Turkey is sending in the tanks, not into Syria, but to reinforce the border with a country it's now threatening. Syrian forces are being warned, come near us and we'll kill you. Turkey's parliament is pumped up. Its prime minister announcing military rules have changed. Syria won't be warned again. It has stirred up a hornet's nest. Syria did it by shooting down one of these, a Turkish jet, but a NATO jet too, antagonizing the world's strongest military alliance. We consider this act to be unacceptable and condemn it in the strongest terms. But NATO made clear there won't be a military response. The West is still unwilling to confront Syria's president and his regime with brute force. These are President Assad's troops. It's unusual because they're moving through the capital Damascus to fight in its suburbs. Not just troops, but tanks and anti-aircraft guns. Once Damascus was a stronghold for these men and their president, now it's a battleground they dare not lose. From dawn on the edge of the capital, the sound of fighting. A conflict the monitors from the United Nations can hear but can do nothing about. They're all dressed up, but they've nowhere to go. Their bosses say their mission is suspended. But this conflict isn't suspended. Assad's army is still bombarding rebels in Homs. The smoke and flames of the revolution now spreading all over Syria. For months the world has been engaged in a bit of a hair-splitting argument. Is this a civil war or is it not? President Assad has now answered that question. He says it's a war from all angles. Now war is a word he wouldn't have dared utter a few months ago because it would have been seen to be conceding something that he didn't want to concede. Well, he said it now. I think it will unsettle an awful lot of people, including many of his supporters who were perhaps in denial. Many too here in Damascus. Damascus, the scene even today, of really quite fierce fighting. This conflict is spreading. It's becoming more militarized, more internationalized. We had NATO today condemning Syria. The world's strongest military alliance is antagonized a NATO plane, a Turkish jet, was shot down. So I think day by day the violence is intensifying and uh, I think the president's use of the word war just adds to that.